Hey scholars, it's Mrs. Jasnika, and we're back with another Draw With Me Challenge. Since this week we're starting the month of February, we are going to be doing a Valentine's Day themed drawing. Today we're going to be drawing a puppy holding a heart. Let's go ahead and begin. So to start, as always, we want to make sure that our paper is in the correct position. That means that our paper is going to be vertical, long way going this way, not like this. Now that we have our paper in the correct position, we are going to be starting by finding the middle of the paper. So the middle of the paper is going to be right around here, give or take. The head is gonna go above the middle of the paper and the body and the heart are gonna go below the middle of the paper. So this is gonna help us make sure that we use as much space as possible without running out of space. So I'm gonna begin with the head, which is above the middle of the paper. And for the shape of the head this time, we're gonna be making what looks like a really wide upside down U, or kinda looks like a really big curved line. So let's see, if the middle of the paper's here, we're gonna wanna do the U shape like this. I am going to start over here and I'm gonna go all the way until I get to this side. Now we wanna make it a wide upside down U. We don't want it to be really skinny cause then the head will be too squished. Okay, looks like there's the same amount of space on the side. So you can see this shape kind of looks like a really big curve, but also sort of looks like an upside down U. So once we make that shape, that's gonna be the top of the head. We still have to make the ears, but we'll talk about ears in a moment. Let's go ahead and make the bottom. So for the bottom shape, we're gonna be making a curved line from here to here, or from here to here. <laughs> and it's just gonna be like this. So I am going to slightly turn my paper and I'm gonna make a line connecting this part to this part. There we go. So this looks like a pretty weird shape for the head, but we usually make circle shapes or oval shapes, so I wanted to change it up a little. Plus dogs have a lot of fur, so I wanted to make this look like the fur on the side of their cheeks. All right, let's keep going. We are going to be making the eyes and the nose. So we're gonna be working on the head first and then we'll go to the heart. So you can choose how you want your eyes to look. Remember when we do draw with me challenges, the challenge is to draw the same thing as us. So a dog holding a heart in this case. Now, if you wanna make the eyes look different than me, that's okay. I'm gonna be making oval eyes and they're gonna be pretty big. Now, of course, just like I mentioned in the cat video, there are different ways of drawing cat eyes, same thing with dogs, and this is not how actual dog eyes look. But that's okay, because this is a cartoon, and this is art, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So here is one oval for one eye, and then we're gonna go over here, and we're going to try to make the same size oval. If we don't, that's okay. Let's see. This one's a little bit too much to the side, but I guess that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, but we want to try to have the same amount of space on each side. Symmetrical means that if I were to put my pencil here and split this head in half, this side should look almost exactly the same as this side because symmetry means that it's exactly the same. Now, of course, we're drawing, so nothing's ever gonna be perfect, but we wanna make it look as symmetrical as possible. Okay, so we have two eyes. They look all right to me. Let's go ahead and go to the nose. 
So the nose is going to be just between the eyes and going a little bit below. And believe it or not, all dog noses are unique. They're kind of like a person's fingerprints. So you don't have to make it look exactly like mine. And in fact, if you know how to make a nicer nose, feel free. So because this is a first grade through sixth grade assignment, I'm gonna make it really simple. I'm gonna make a straight line in between the noses or the eyes and I'm going to make the letter V coming down so it's gonna look like an upside down triangle like so now again there's a lot of different ways to do this but this is the easiest way so straight line and then connect it with a letter V so it looks like an upside down triangle and in fact since I already did it I'm gonna actually erase this Part and make it curved you don't have to do this especially if you are in first grade this is more like extra details so I'm going to this looks weird make the line a little bit curved instead like this and I can always fix it later because I always outline in Sharpie all right now from here we're going to be making a line coming down from the tip of the triangle or the nose. Just gonna go straight down like this. So now it kind of looks like a letter Y with a little bump on top here. And we're gonna do something different. Instead of making it look like all of the other drawings that we do where we just put a letter W underneath, we are going to actually connect the bottom part here to the top of the nose. So before you try to do it, watch me and then you guys can do it. So from here, I'm gonna make this bump shape like this. Actually, let me make it a little bit bigger. Let's do it like this instead. And if you wanna leave it like this, you can but I want to make it look like a circle. So I'm going to go all the way up like that. Now, if you're confused, let me do it again. So I'm making a curved line. And instead of leaving it like that, which you can if you want to, I'm going to connect it all the way back up to the top where the nose is. So. like that. Now if you want to make a tongue coming out of the side or something, or you want to make the mouth open, you can. I'll show you a couple of ways to do this before I choose how I do mine. So let's do the nose again. I'm going to make a triangle. Then I'm going to make the little stick coming down. And then I'm going to go like this and like this now that we have that let me show you a few ways that you can make the mouth you can make the mouth open like this by making a little bump and then another little bump so now it looks like an open mouth if you don't like that here's another example now remember when you're drawing an art you should be using a pencil with an eraser in case you make a mistake and you should not be drawing as dark as I do I draw dark so that you guys can see what I'm doing here's another way that you can make the mouth instead of making the mouth over here we can just make the tongue coming out of the side which is just a U shape like this and then you could put a little line so it looks like a tongue now if you want, you can also just put a little line here so you know that that's where the mouth ends. It's up to you. Or you can make it go all the way to the side, like that. So it looks like it's closed, but the tongue is still coming out. So those are two ways that you can do the mouth. All right, now I think I'm gonna make the tongue coming out of the side. Doesn't matter which side, I'll go ahead and do it on this side this time since I did it on this side before. So I'm gonna make right on this cheek a little U shape with a line in the middle. And if you want, 
you can add a little bump here so it looks like the mouth is closed. All right, let's go ahead and move on. We're gonna work on making the eyes a little more realistic because right now they look kind of scary. We are gonna add the eye shine, just like I always do. And we're gonna add it here in the top left corner. Big ol' eye shine. We're gonna make one over here. Oh, that one's too small. So I'm gonna fix it. And of course you can make your eye shine bigger or smaller depending on the size of your eye. There we go, it's a little better I guess. And then I'm going to make another little eye shine here at the bottom, like this. You can make as many eye shines as you want. And now this time I'm going to make the pupil, the big black part of the eye, really, really big. Because again, these eyes are huge. So to do that, I'm just going to make a well, kind of like an oval shape in the middle. So I'm just going to go like this. And then this is all going to be colored black later. And I'll do that on this side too. And again, it's going to be colored later. There we go. If it doesn't look perfect now, I can always fix it later. All right, let's keep going. We're going to add the dog ears now, or I guess they can't be anything but dog ears since we're drawing a puppy. Now, believe it or not, dog's ears are so different. There's so many different breeds of dogs with different types of ears, some that are pointing up, some that are pointing down, some that are really, really long, some that are short, some even look like cat ears. So. When you draw your dog ears, think about the type of dog that you like and what type of ears you want your puppy to have. I'm going to make one going down and one going up. That way we kind of have both types. So we are going to need to erase on the side unless you make your ears just go out the side here, which I can show you how to do. But I'm going to start with the more difficult one and then I'll show you easier ways of making the ears for your puppy. Okay, so first of all, we want the ears to be over here, not right on top of the head, kind of on the side a little bit. And from the side, I'm going to start on the right ear, or I guess the puppy's left ear, but our right. And I'm just going to go up like this and make a curved line. So that's where the ear is going to be coming out from. And now I'm gonna make another line like this. So this is a really fancy shape. I don't really have a name for it, but it curves like this and then it goes out. Now, so far we haven't overlapped on the head, but we will from here in the corner. I'm gonna go down. And so it's just a curved line and we gotta curve it back up. So it's falling over the puppy's face. And now we're gonna go like that. Okay, so I know that was really complicated. You don't have to make the ear look like this. In fact, another way that you could do it is just make this and then come back up here so it's not overlapping over the puppy's face. But again, I'll show you some more examples in a moment. Now for this ear, I'm gonna make it going up. Now remember, you don't have to make your puppy's ears look anything like mine as long as you're drawing a dog or a puppy. So what I'm going to do is from here, so kind of like the same place where this ear started, except this time I'm going to go up like this. So it's a curved line going up. You can make it straight if you want, that's fine. And then from here we're going to curve down a little, that's going to be the top of the puppy ear. And then we're going to come down and connect it back. Now since this ear is coming forward, you can't see the inside of the ear. Not really at least, but this one you can. So I'm going to draw the inside of the puppy's ear. 
like that. So we know this is the pink part and this is the furry part. And of course, we can draw fur if you'd like by just erasing the side here and then making it have zigzags like this. Like that. And of course, you can always add some at the top too. But again, this is those types of details I usually just add when I'm outlining. And I can always fix this ear later if I don't like it. So let me show you guys some other examples really quickly of how to make dog ears. I'll start off with a really simple one. First, let me draw the rest of the dog head. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna make, whoa, that's way too little. <laughs> So the easiest way you can make the ear for the dog is to just go out like this. So a little curved line and then you're going to make kind of what looks like an oval shape. So this way you don't cover the head. Okay. I'll do it again over here. So it's going to curve like this. It kind of looks like a bunny almost, right? But it's not. <laughs> And then we're gonna go down and curve back in. Okay, and these still look like dog ears. There's plenty of dogs that have super long ears like that. So that's one example. Now, believe it or not, there are plenty of different large breed dogs that have ears that stick straight up. But if you do this, your dog might look a little bit like a cat. So just keep that in mind. Um, let me show you another example. And again, if you've already finished drawing the ears, you can just fix any mistakes that you have right now if you don't need to look at what we're doing. So I'm gonna make an ear that goes straight up and another ear that goes straight up. So this is where they're gonna start. That looks kind of funky, looks like an alien. <laughs> and then from here, we're gonna curve a little and go down. See how I curved the line and then came back to the head. Let's do that together. So we're gonna curve the line here and then come down. We don't wanna make it look like exactly like cat ears because then it's gonna look like a cat. And then of course we can make the inside of the ear like so. And I actually like dogs that have ears like this. Uh, huskies have ears that look like cat ears almost. They're just a bit bigger, but I have a husky. I'll show you guys a picture of my dog. Here they are. Um, and I really love dogs that have ears like that. So that's one. And then we saw the other way. All right, let's go ahead and go back. Now we gotta work on the heart. Remember I said that this is going to be sort of like an early Valentine's Day drawing. Our puppy is going to be holding a huge heart against their chest. And maybe you can write some, something on it later. So from right in the middle, we're gonna go where the little mouth is. We're gonna go down a little bit to like maybe right here. Okay, we don't wanna make it right on his face. Okay, this is gonna be where the heart begins. It's gonna go over his mouth a little bit, just like where the tongue is, and a little bit over this part. And it's gonna come down like this. Before I begin drawing the heart, I know first grade might have a little trouble with the heart. We've drawn hearts before and we've practiced drawing hearts. However, I wanna make sure that everybody knows the easiest way to draw a heart. So before I even draw it on the front, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make an M shape. You can also put a little dot on your paper so you know where the M is going to, the middle of the M is gonna be. So this is the easiest way to make a heart. So we're gonna make a bump going to that dot and then a bump going away from the dot. So see, this looks like a letter M. 
Now we're going to connect here to here with a letter V. So to make a letter V, we're just gonna go down and then up, okay? And ta-da, we have a heart, okay? So letter M and then a letter V. Let's practice one more time. I'm just gonna do it without the dot now. Bump, bump, so M, lowercase letter M. And then from here to here, we're making a letter V. Boop and boop. Okay, now I think everyone is ready. I'm sure some of you already drew it. It's okay if you go ahead of me. I'm gonna make my heart with the two bumps on the side here. It does not have to be this big, but don't make it really, really small because then you're gonna have to draw the body. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go like this. So here's my first heart shape. So if you're drawing a more advanced heart, all you have to do is just make this weird, kind of like a fancy letter J is what it looks like. Let's see if I turn the paper. Looks like a backwards letter J. Okay, and now I'm gonna go from here and come back. And if the heart doesn't look symmetrical, meaning that one side is not the same as the other, that's okay. Go ahead and fix it now. We want to make it look as symmetrical as possible. That means it's equal on both sides as you can make it. So if one side is really big, then make the other side really big. That is how you make a nice looking heart, is trying to keep it looking the same on both sides. That's much better. Not perfect, but much better. I'm not a machine, so it's okay to make mistakes. Now, you will need an eraser to erase this part here. If you don't have an eraser, you're gonna have to borrow one. Bloop and bloop. For art class, you should always have an eraser. People are not perfect. That's why erasers were made. I know that sounds pretty silly, but I mean, it's true. All right, there we go. So I just erased the parts that were under the heart because the heart is going to be in front of the puppy. The puppy is behind the heart. So that's why I had to erase the parts that we already drew. Now we're gonna make the puppy holding the heart and I'm gonna show you the hard way first and if you can't do it, I will show you an easier way to make the puppy paws holding the heart. So you don't have to make them exactly equal on both sides, meaning if you want one paw to be up here and one paw to be down here, that's fine. Or if you want both paws to be up here or both paws to be here, that's fine. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to make what looks like bumps where the paws are. So, um, let's see, uh, I guess I'll put it like right up here. So here's a bump. Here's actually, let me make that closer. So these are going to be the puppy's paws going over. So here's the other one. So see, these just look like letter C's. If I turn my paper this way, it looks like a letter C. I'm gonna do two more. Okay, and now we have these four letter C's. And you're probably like, Mr. Sneaker, that doesn't look anything like a paw. Hold on. You know, art is a process. So what we're gonna do now is make them look like little paws. So to do that, we're going to go like this and connect them. So I'm gonna go like this and connect. I'm gonna go like this and connect. And finally, this one doesn't have anywhere to connect, so I'm gonna turn it into a circle. So it's gonna go like this. It's not gonna connect all the way around because the paw is gonna be going behind the heart. 
So now what are we gonna do with this side? Same thing, we're gonna connect here, connect here, connect here, and then here we're gonna go behind the heart, okay? So when I erase the heart, because the paw is over the heart, it's holding the heart, it's gonna look like this. Ta-da! So now it looks like the puppy is holding the heart. And if you wanna make little claws or something for your puppy, you can. Puppies do have claws. They're usually like, kinda like blackish looking or gray, at least my dogs look that color. So we're gonna do the same thing over here, but before I do that, I wanna show any scholars who are having trouble an easier way to do it. So here is my heart. I am going to draw a little paw coming out of the side. So it's gonna look like this. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, and you can leave it like that if you want, but it's not gonna look like the hand is coming from behind. So we can also add bumps on this side, like that. Okay, and now you can erase that. So another way that you can do that is you can just make four ovals coming out of the side. So one, two, three, and four. And then erase the lines where the heart is. Because we don't want the heart to be in the way. See? So that's what it looks like. And again, if you want to draw little claws coming out, you can. It'll look something like this. I'm not taking too much time because I know other scholars are waiting to move on. So that is what it would look like with little claws. All right, let's go back. We're gonna work on this side now. Um, we wanna try to make it in the same spot if that's what we were going for, but remember you can also put one paw down here, one paw up here, wherever you want it to be. I'm gonna make it the same on both sides, or I'm gonna try. And to do that, we're gonna make the letter C again, and then three more, two, three, and four. Okay, they don't look exactly the same. Mm. I'll probably fix it when I do uh, my Sharpie. That's okay though. If they're not perfect, that's fine. Like I said, they don't have to be in the same spot. I just like it that way. All right, let me fix this part here. So I'm gonna make the, the bump go here. And for this bump, it's gonna go behind. So letter C's that are connected, and then we're gonna erase the heart right there. Ta-da! These fingers look different than these, but again, I'll fix them later. All right, let's go ahead and move on. So now we still need the tail, we need the bottom half of the body, um, and anything you wanna write here, Let's go ahead and do the feet. So we're gonna have the feet different than we have when we were doing the cat and the frog. We're actually gonna have the feet facing out. So they're gonna look like two ovals on the side of the heart. So we're gonna go down just a little and we're gonna make two ovals, sideways ovals over here. If they go over the heart, that's okay. If they don't, that's fine too. I'm gonna make big oval on the side. <laughs> it's gonna be the, the puppy's foot coming out. You'll see what it looks like in a moment. And now we're gonna make one over here and I'm gonna try to make it symmetrical. Again, I'm gonna try to make it the same size and in the same place as it is over here. Those don't look symmetrical. Let me fix it. Yeah. 
Fix it until you like what it looks like. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. The only person's opinion that matters when it comes to art is yours. Mm. This one's still too fat. So you know what? I think I'll make this one rounder because I like it rounder, honestly. Okay, well, that's good enough for me. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I made a little eraser mark over here that looks weird, but that's fine. Now, I noticed I don't have a lot of space over here on either side. I made it very equal. We still want space for the tail, so I'm probably gonna put it on this side, but you can put it on this side if you have more space. And we also need to connect the feet so it doesn't look like we just have floating feet under the dog or the puppy. So what I'm gonna do is right around here, I'm gonna connect the feet with a line, okay? And that's just gonna be where the dog is sitting. You can make this a straight line or you can make it a curved line. However you think will look the best, I'm just gonna make two bumps. So I'm gonna go bump and bump. So where the heart tip is that's where I'm I made the bump stop so bump bump but again you can just make a straight line you don't have to do it this way now I'm going to make some lines coming down where the hands are you don't have to do this because this is fine the way that it is but I'm just gonna make some lines coming down like this so it looks like fur from the arm and I want to do the same thing on this side Remember, you don't have to do this. Now, my favorite part is doing the tail because just like ears on a dog, they're so different. There's all sorts of different breed dogs that have different tails. So you can get as creative as you want. You can make a tail that goes really, really high or really short. There's so many. In fact, let me draw a couple. <laughs> because, you know, I love doing examples. So real quick, let's say you're making a dog with a short tail. You can make a curved line like this. And then some shaggy lines coming down like that. There are some breeds of dogs that have a curly tail like this. So it, it kind of goes like this and curls. There's dogs that have really, really long, shaggy, shaggy tails. You can make one that goes straight out and then is shaggy or even shaggy on both sides, like how we did the cat one. So there's all sorts of different ways. There's also dogs that just have really short tails that kind of look like this. And they're really small, not a lot of fur on them because they're, they're short fur. So it's up to you how you make your dog tail. I'm gonna make a pretty big one. My dog's tail curls in. So I am, since I don't have a lot of space, I'm gonna start here where the foot is and I'm going to make some shaggy fur all the way to the end, as close as I can get it. Also, you can just make a straight line if you want, but I want it to look furry. And I'm gonna make it curl in like that until it hits kind of like the side of the heart somewhere and then for this part I'm just gonna again from the foot make the other side of the tail and kind of curve in like that now I kind of noticed that the tails not coming from the right place so I might need to fix it I don't think the tail comes from there it comes from here and goes out so Yours doesn't have to be that realistic or anything, but I'm actually going to make the tail come from here instead. There we go. I think that looks way better than coming from the bottom of the foot, right? Okay, now it's time for final details. I need to add um, the paw pads on the bottom of the feet because right now these look kind of silly. So to do the paw pads, there's a lot of different ways, but we can make it um, have like an oval shape, 
like this. This is the easiest way to do it. Kind of the opposite of what Mr. Sneaker normally does, because I normally do the hard way first. Man, I cannot do this well. Okay, like this. <laughs> sort of looks like uh, an Among Us character. Uh, and then we're gonna put four ovals on the top, like this. Okay, so that's the easiest way you can do it. One big long oval going sideways and then either four ovals or four circles on the top. Okay, so that's one way. I'm gonna make another way over here. This way is gonna be a little more complicated. This time we're gonna make what looks kind of like a bean shape. So I'm gonna go down here and make a bean shape so it's curved on the top and then down here it kind of makes this weird little shape I'll do it again if you need to see that again so I'll do it real small here so one line that is curved and then underneath we're gonna make two bumps like that and then connect them so two bumps with a little spot in the middle that goes the opposite way. Now this way is going to look more realistic. I'll have to show you the bottom of a puppy foot so you can see that. Okay, and now we're going to make the circles or ovals on the top. And those are easy so I did them very fast. Personally, I like how this looks better than this. So I am going to fix this side to make it look more like the other side. So there's my bump. I wanna make curved lines going in here and then it's going to go like that. Let's see if they're symmetrical. Nope, <laughs> this one's too big, but I'll fix it later. All right, going to the head now. And I'm gonna add more details. I am going to make kind of like a little line over the eye like this. And now I'm going to add some little dots on where the little, I guess, cheeks are. I don't know what to call these, but dogs actually do have whiskers. So I'm just gonna add little dots. Six dots should be enough like so and then if you want to add whiskers you can I don't think I'm going to but you could that's these little dots are where the whiskers would be coming out of all right now I'm gonna add a little bit of shaggy hair coming out from the ear so I'm just gonna make some what looks like letter V's like that and of course this one you can't see so I don't need to do that, but I will erase this line. There we go. So it looks like a regular ear now. And I'm going to add a pattern in the middle. I'm gonna make the dog have kind of like a little shaggy line going all the way to the nose. So this will be so that I can make it two different colors. So. So all the way to the nose, and then I'm gonna do it on this side. Like that. So, from the nose all the way up. Now it kinda looks like a skunk, but I haven't colored it yet, so I guess that's okay. Um, and I think, I think that's it, yeah. I think we got everything that I wanted. So, now we have to make the background. Normally, I make a horizon line. The horizon line separates the ground from the sky. I'm just gonna make a straight line going across here. So let's say, let's start it right here. Seems like a good place to put it. Right here where the hands are. And then it's gonna go just in between the tail to the end of the paper, but I can't really do it because the tail is in the way. So this is where he's sitting, or she, and this is the sky or wherever they happen to be and just to make it cuter I'm gonna put some extra hearts up here 
we should practice making hearts. You can make them as big or as small as you want. And they can be going any which way you want. I'm gonna make one coming off the page here. There we go. And you can make, again, as many as you want. And just fill the whole background with a bunch of different hearts. There we go. Let me make one right here. All right, now I think we're ready to outline and color in. And of course, if you want to add anything in here, like I love you, mom, or something, or you want to put happy Valentine's Day, anything you want to put here, you can add that in before or after you color. Let's go ahead and color in now.
All right, scholars, here is my finished artwork. I decided to leave the background white so that there wouldn't be too many pinkish colors everywhere since I did the heart pink and the ears pink and a lot of things pink. I made the eyes blue because that's the color that my dog's eyes are, but of course you guys can make them any color you want. And I didn't write anything in the heart because I figured you guys can write anything that you guys want. All right, now it's time for me to see what you guys were working on. 